we're back for another requested topic to discuss on how to use exothermic welding for electrical grounding system. As we all know that grounding for electrical system is important, that's why we give attention to install properly. To start the discussion, I have here a brief background for current practice in installing grounding connection. As you can see, this connection may connect or bind in a different method. First method, mechanical connection. This utilized by means of compression between different conductors using a mechanical fastener such as bolt, rivet, or screws to bind together. The very known material for this is the ground clamp, sometimes they called ground earth clamp. Second method, the content of this discussion which is the exothermic welding which through the process of exothermic reaction which we will further discuss on how to use. Third method, combinations of method 1 or the mechanical connections and the method 2, the exothermic welding. This is typically found and used for the test bit. The purpose of this is whenever you need to conduct a testing, the ground earth testing, you can isolate the grounding system alone to properly measure ground re grounding resistance or ground resistance. Going to exothermic welding, we can say that this is used to secure firmly a electrical connections of a grounding system to achieve a molecular binding between two or more metallic conductor. To guide you on how to use this method, I have here a 10 step in doing it properly. <clears throat> step number one, prepare the materials needed such as graphite mold, exothermic welding powder, this flint igniter, which are common material requirements that are typically available in buying a starter kit to your supplier. Step number two, prepare the electrical conductor by cleaning its surface where the connections will be made using brush. Starter kit have this additional cleaning material to use in preparation. Step number three, fit and secure appropriate graphite mold for the type of connection. Ensure to close the clamp tightly. Graphite mold varies depending on your requirements or the type of connection. That's, that's why before buying a graphite mold, you must ask first to your supplier to have a catalog for selecting mold to be used. Step number four. Put the mold sealer in the outside surface of the mold wherein cable, conductor, rod inserted. Step number 5. Put the disc in the center. Assure that the disc will properly seated in the mold. Step number 6. Pour the welding material powder in the mold. Then, before emptying the tube, you will find at the bottom the starting material for easily ignition. You will notice it, the texture is more smoother than initial powder poured. Pour 60% of it, close the lid and put the remaining 40% of the starting material into the slot on the mold cover as shown in the image of 6.2. Step number 7. Aim the flint igniter and ignite the starting material powder in the top of the mold cover. Wait for 30 seconds to finish the exothermic reaction made. Carefully remove the graphite mold. Be cautious that the mold and even the conductor were still hot. And lastly, check the exothermic weld if there is impurity or irregularity. This how this 10 step implement on site.
and that's it. I hope it helped you in your first exothermic welding on your project. To further discover engineering life, please like and subscribe to our channel to give you an update as we electrify our world.